Hey guys, Miso here. So, today, big news came out. The roadmap for the next two months came out for Lost Ark. And as usual, I'm not going to be going over everything in the roadmap. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to read that yourselves because there's a lot of streamers, a lot of content creators, whoever that already go over this in their videos. So, what's another one, right? So, today, I want to talk about specifically what you should be doing while we we're waiting for this content to come out. So the first piece and probably the main piece that we're going to be preparing for, and I think everybody should be preparing for, regardless of whether or not they're going to be making this class or not, is preparing for the release of the Lance Master or the Glavier. So the reason why this is the most important one to prepare for is because this is probably the most hyped piece of content that pretty much everyone can participate in, right? If you look at the update, you have the Glaver. Everybody can participate in this, right? They can make it from day one, it comes out, and you get a power pass as well, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But Glaver, get it, day one, everybody can participate. South Vern, you need to be 1340 to participate in it. So people who aren't there yet won't be able to do this. Of course, a lot of people are there, but it's not everybody, right? And there's nothing you can really do to prepare for it, to be honest. Um, Destroyer, another class that you can get and everybody can prepare for. But it's also a less popular class because it's not as good as, I mean, mainly probably because it's not as good as Glaver. But we'll go more into this in a little bit. And then we have the Trial Guardian Raids, nothing you need to prepare for there. The Guardian Raid here, nothing you prepare. And Vaulton, you can prepare for this for sure. But... At the same time, it's pretty far out and not many people are even preparing for it. And you notice that I'm talking a lot about population of people preparing for things and doing things because that's going to be very closely tied to what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So Glaver, it's coming out and you can power pass it to 960 to Phaeton. So why is that important? So with these characters, they're coming out. Everybody, almost everybody who's going to make the Glaver is probably going to be power passing it to 960 as, you know, as long as the power pass is for free. At the moment, they haven't let us know whether or not the power pass is for free. But right here, it says right here, a fate and power pass that provides item level 960 gear to level your new Glaver or any character you'd like. So it doesn't say that they will give it to us for free, but it'll be in the game. But my hunch is they will give it to us for free. Um, so with that, everybody is going to be making a Glaver 2960. Where's that? That is at T2. So what's really important right now is to stock up on T2 mats. Because what's going to happen is when the Glaver comes out, everybody is going to be power passing it to 960 and then trying to get it to T3 as fast as possible. Because... T2 content is not as fun as T3 content, right? And some people are going to be even going even further. They're going to want to take their Glaver to Vaulton, basically, to Argos, and then get it ready for Vaulton. Because Argos is, um, you can't buy the gear, right? So you want to be able to get it to Argos quickly so you can start getting that Argos set, the legendary set, that can help you push your character to 1415 for Vaulton when that comes out. Because I know a good bit of people who are actually going to be switching their mains from what they're playing right now to the Glaver. So, where does that leave us? So, what you want to do is, let's hop into the game right now. You want to start hoarding T2 mats. And while you can hoard everything, you know, you can hoard the Destruction Stones, you can hoard the Guardian Stones, and you can see the prices are already going up um, because people saw this news, right? You can just hoard the construction stones, you can hoard the guardian stones, you can hoard the life leap stones, which have gone up again. And to be honest, at the moment, it might even be more worth it to run um, T2 guardians compared to T3 guardians if you're just looking for money. Um, because this is selling for more now, um, and will probably sell for more later. But the most important and the most impactful thing to buy right now is going to be these life shard pouches. Because with Destruction Stones, Guardian Stones, and Life Leap Stones, right? 
you can get that right now. You can prepare for your Glaver right now by farming those on an alt character, all your T2 characters. Just run T2 Chaos Dungeons. You'll get the Destruction Stones, Guardian Stones, and run Guardian Rays for the Life Leap Stones. But the Life Shards, you have to either buy pouches or get that on your Glaver itself. So these people who are going to be coming in wanting to rush to T3, they will need to buy these shards to rush to T3. They won't be able to wait or wait and save on their other characters. They will only be able to buy these shards to rush, which is why this is probably going to be the best purchase to make at the moment if you're trying to make big money. As you can see, that it has already gone up by 60 gold since yesterday because everybody's hoarding up on this. But one thing to note, I would say is wait just a little bit because people are kind of doing a knee jerk reaction, right? They're seeing Glaver is coming out. I need to invest now, buy now, um, and get that, uh, profit. Now, if you were there at the early wave when it was still about 266, yes, that would be worth it. But at the moment, it's already gone up 60 gold. And now I'm saying, I'm not saying that it won't go up even more, which I think it will when Glaver comes out. But what I think is going to happen is, and this is truly just my speculation, you can choose to follow it or not. You can buy it now if you want. You can follow my advice or, uh, if you want. Whatever, it's up to you. I don't want to, I guess, make you make the wrong decision. But for me, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be waiting just a little bit to buy this because I'm expecting, well, first off, Glaver, the release date has not been announced yet, right? It just says April and we're at the very beginning of April. So this could come next week. This could come on the last week of April. We don't know that. My hunch is it's going to come either next week or the week after, but still, even if it comes out next week, what's going to happen is people are going to stop buying these and stop hoarding these probably in about a day or two. They're going to, everybody who's wanted to basically milk it, right, has probably already bought it by the end of today or tomorrow, and it's probably going to start going down again because the demand is going to go down because people aren't going to be thinking about it as much. People aren't going to be worrying about it as much. Everybody who's invested already invested into it. So that's my hunch. So my advice is, and you can follow it or not, wait a couple days Take a look at the prices. They should start going down again. And then when it goes down, you can start investing in the life shard pouches. Um, the other option is, and this is the, I'd say, probably less big money, but you don't have to have, have as much money up front to invest in it, is to stock up on the T3 materials, especially the honor uh, shard pouches. Now, the, where is it? Honor shard pouches, here we go. They're only 85 right now, right? They went up a lot less. And that's because not everybody's going to want to rush their glaive mass, glaviers to Argos, to Vaulton. There's a good number of people who want to, right? But not everybody's going to do it. A lot, Or at least a lot less people are going to do it. Which is why these prices for T3 mats haven't gone up yet. But it's going to be the same situation, right? There's going to be some people who want to push their characters to Argos really soon. They're going to want to push their character Argos and try to progress it to Vaulton so that they can hit Vaulton on the day of release with their Glaver. So if you have less money, but um, do still want to invest, these are a pretty good invest investment. And also in the long run, honor shards are going to just keep going up. The more people that hit 1370, the more these are going to go up because they're going to quickly realize that later on after 1370 things cost a lot of honor shards to upgrade so when that happens it's going to go up also when Vaulton comes out it's going to go up because again it's going to have the same effect where people are going to want to get their character Vaulton ready and some people might not get there by the time Vaulton comes out just naturally. So they're going to have to buy these shards to help push their characters up. So that's what you should do. And the reason why I'm saying this for the Glaive Master specifically is because this is the highly anticipated class. It's the most pop one of the 
out of the two classes that come out and out of most of the classes, one of the most popular classes. So everybody's going to want to play this and push this up. Now for Destroyer, it depends a little bit. Destroyer typically is a underpowered class. A lot of people still play it, but it's not very popular because it's not very strong. But the one thing to note is that the Korean servers are going to be having a balance patch very, very soon. Sometime in April, most likely. And because of that, they might buff Destroyer and those changes might come to our server. So you never know. Destroyer might just get buffed like crazy. They might become one of the top classes. Everybody's going to want to play them. And as a result, the mats again might go up for the Destroyer when that comes out. So you could probably prepare for that as well. Um, now, for Vaulton, of course, T3 mats, you can prepare for that. Buy mats now while they're cheaper. Actually, wait maybe a couple days again. Same reason. Some people uh, invested in the T3 mats for Glaver. A couple days later, it'll probably go back down. So a couple things to invest in. The TLDR, big money investment right now is life shard pouches wait a couple days they are probably going to drop back down a little bit and then go all in on this or you can also go for destruction stones and guardian stones so those will also go up but probably not as much as these life shard pouches um for people who have less money but still want to invest invest in honor shard pouches they will go up most likely but also in the long run when Vaulting comes out, when more people hit 1370, they're going to go up like crazy. So invest in these. Um, otherwise, that's about it. I mean, I guess you could also invest in these like protections, right? Because people are going to want that for um, T3. Less of a thing because people are going to have honing buffs like from their stronghold and stuff like that. But it's still useful. Um, I'd say don't bother with the T2, um, T2 ones, the Moon's Breaths. They're not going to do anything. Like your honing rights are high enough already. So you people won't be using these much. So we're gonna invest in one, solar protection, solar blessings, and solar graces. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Hopefully this video helped you all, and hopefully you guys can make some smart investments to make a lot of money in the upcoming uh updates. So let me know, know guys down in the comment section below what you think. Are you gonna play Glaver? Are you gonna be investing in Glaver? Um, in terms of like buying mats and selling them for when it comes out, let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.